Hey guys, what's up? This is Tyler, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 9, or, um, Windows 10, uh, how, how does it the richest guy on planet Earth doesn't even know how to count correctly? God, anyways, back to the point, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 10 on a Oracle virtual machine. First, you're going to want to go download Windows 10 operating system. So in order to do that, go trundle on over to Google and search for download Windows 10. Click the first link you see, and that'll bring you to the download for the Windows 10 technical preview. You're going to want to download the ISO rather than the actual updater or installer. Um, and in order to do that, you're going to have to sign up for the Windows Insider program, which will only take you a few minutes, especially if you already have a Microsoft account. Once you've downloaded the ISO, which will probably take you about an hour, then go back to Google and search for Oracle Virtual Box. Click the first link you see again, and then go click on downloads and download whichever version your operating system requires. All right, once you download the software, click on new and name the, your system whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it Windows 10. Make sure Microsoft Windows is selected for type and click on Windows 10 64 bit for version. Now you can technically use two gigs for RAM, but I'm gonna set it to four gigs of RAM, which is 4,000 megabytes. And just click next create a virtual hard drive uh, just use the first option make sure it's dynamically allocated and i'm just going to go with the default size then right click on it and click settings now go to storage and you're going to have to click on empty uh, click on that disk there and click on choose virtual drive and search for the iso file which you downloaded previously open that up now you're gonna to wanna to go over to the system. Make sure everything on your screen is clicked that's clicked on my screen. Make sure you go over to processor, enable this. On acceleration, make sure both of those are enabled. Then click okay. Now you should be able to go start your system. Hopefully. Any minute now. Here we go. And there you are. So this is going to take some time in order for it to load. So I'm going to pause it. And once we get to the setup, I'll hit play again. With any luck, the window setup a window should appear. So click next and then click install now. Any minute. There you go. Click accept the license agreement. Next. Click custom install. Click next on the screen. And this is seriously going to take eternity for it to copy the Windows files and finish installing it. So go grab your 27th can of Mountain Dew or go play one of those video game things that you kids play nowadays, rotting your brains. I totally got this. <laughs> After you've been divorced several times and your kids are at college, this screen will pop up and just use the express settings for convenience. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Once you click that, click next. Now sign into your handy Microsoft account that you created earlier, hopefully. Sign in. I'm gonna say no. I'm going to give Cortana the green light because she seems pretty cool. I feel like I should get some elevator music or something. What do you think? Hello? Aw, that's so kind. Thank you. <gasps> Could it be? Do we finally have Windows 10? Wait. OneDrive. Didn't I just say no to that earlier? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Anyways, welcome to Windows 10. My first impression is that I think the graphics are amazing and I'm thrilled that the start menu is actually back and it's a wait. OneDrive? Die. Die. Why won't you die? As always, thanks for watching YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and you can ask me questions in the comments. Peace out.